Jaystifer presents The Winter Cottage. Set number 10229 contains 490 pieces and is recommended for ages 12 and up. So you can see we're going to be making a snow plow. The Winter Cottage. Looks like we got a maybe a little shack of some kind. Make a sled. Some other things. And, oh yes, light brick included. Let's take a look at the back side of this here. So, you get to make all this awesome stuff. Looks very fun. Now, it doesn't say that the bags are numbered, but we're going to take a peek here, and we're going to find out real shortly. So, let's see what we got inside here. see what we got in here. Oh, this box is packed with bricks. Let's take a peek here. Oh, got a bag of bricks. Oh, they're numbered. Yes. I don't have to spend the time to sort through them like we did the other one. Yes, they all are numbered. Bag two. So I'm guessing these are grouped together. So we got four bags of fun and adventure. How many bag twos are there? I found one bag three. Let's see what else we got. Bag two. I'm grabbing something else out. Oh, look at these. 8 by 16 white plates. Okay, these are cool. Yeah, found a bag one. Bag three. Now I'm not sure how many bags there are because they're all piling and falling all over the floor. So here's two. There's another bag one. A large bag number one, three, two, and instructions are bound by cardboard. So that's good. Now we don't want the manuals won't be all all warped. Another bag. Man, there's just lots of bags in here, everyone. I'm not sure how many bags. We'll count them and see. And there it is. Oh, I think I see something else at the bottom down there. Let's see if we can get it. A small bag full of studs and such. A lot more plates in bag three. Let's see how many bags there are here. One, two, three. Six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. There are eighteen bags total in this whole set, which contains four hundred and ninety pieces. So I better get started. Here is the winter cottage. You do get to make the snow plow, the tool shed, of course the winter cottage. You get to make the igloo, you do get a spare tree, a little sleigh, and you get eight minifigures. So let's take a look closely at each piece. Let's start off with the minifigures. You get eight in total. So you get an older gentleman here. He's got the painted shirt. And we get like a handyman or the delivery driver. He drives the uh, snow plow. He's got the beanie. Here's a... Uh, oh yeah, I've seen her in a couple of other sets. 
She's got the detailed uh, shirt as well. Another minifig, female, and she's got her shirt painted on. She's got the dark brown pants, so that's pretty sweet. And we got the, I don't know, the lumberjack, I guess. Um, he's got the chainsaw. He's got his axe, and he's got the dark red hat. I don't even have a dark red hat. Also, we have three children in the set. First, I got a little child here. I got him his face on the uh, crying face. I thought it was kind of cool, so I left it like that. And he's got the sweater, and he's wearing mittens, or the jacket. Also, we have two children on skis. One of them's got the safety helmet on. It's like he's wearing a, a zipper jacket, maybe. Also, they use the... Uh, Light sticks is the uh, things for the skis. You do get this two sets of skis. Also got a younger, um, looks like a female child. And she's got the uh, scarf and the skis as well. So those, do, those skis do come off. And that is the eight minifigures. The next part we're going to look at is the igloo. And you do get a spare tree here. The igloo is a little tight and you do get the little owl on top and the top does come off and it's very just some dome pieces and really well constructed take a look inside you only get a looks like a 4x4 four four opening in there so a minifig really can't fit in there I think it's mostly for decorations but it is hollow so. So it's a really cool addition. I never thought about making an igloo. So there is the igloo and small pine tree. Now let's take a look at the sleigh. It's really simply constructed. You um, have, looks like two shovels and two nightsticks that you can use for the parts for the runners. You also get the whole thing. They also put these rounded plates at the bottom give it more of a realistic rocky feel and you get the bucket in there bucket just comes out and well it's not coming out now oh there it goes just a simple little pail with the handle it's got the gold handle on it you just simply sit it in there and you can use it for grabbing snow set it in there like that. But there is the sleigh. Next up we have the snow plow. You've got the snow plow attachment here. And that can be removed if desired. Got the flat bed on the back. You also got some side mirrors. Um, also you got mud flaps on the back of the on the back tires. It has a nice catchy touch. Here's the other side, you get the broom, and the uh, on the other side you get the radio. Now let's take a look inside the cab. The top of this is hard to get off here, so you can see that it comes up. So you got to really be careful in getting the top off. Best bet is just to remove the windshield with it. Take a peek inside the cab. It's pretty tight in there. Um, depends on what minifig. If they got a hair piece on, they do hit against this block glass. You got to be careful. Now, I like the style of doors. These doors do open up. They're just simple tiles. But they do open up like so. so. You can see you got that the interior of the cab. So both doors, both driver and passenger side, does open up. The mirrors on this are pretty flexible, so they can be bent in any direction. I'm not sure if that's good. But this is just held on here with a couple of these double bow plates here, bow, and I don't know, this is really hard to remove. So the cab of this is pretty tight. So just remove it from the windshield, and it does move along very smoothly. So it's a great snow plow. This could be used for almost any part of the winter series. This is the snow plow. Next, we have the workshop. 
I like the way they use the plates for snow, the awning over the firewood, which are studs, this do come out. I like the use of arched windows, that's really a great idea. I also like the gold windows on the sides. Profile bricks. Let's take a look on the inside here. Now the roof can be opened up if you want to get the tools out of there easier. Not sure if that's the intent or not, but it's a cool idea. Take a look at the inside. You get a little workbench in here. You get some tools. You do get pliers, a wrench, hammer. There is a drill hanging off there. And you get a few other accessories like the uh, hatchet and the uh, chainsaw that you saw in the minifigs. This is a cool little work little workshop. That's really it's really cleverly designed. Here is the winter cottage. Let's take a closer look at it. First thing that catches my eye is the decorations above the windows. Here again just like the workshop, they have the gold windows, like the use of dark green window panes. It's when the window ledges and they even got the wood. It's like wood beams going across everything. And they have the profile bricks. They also got piles of snow. Using base plates for snow. That's a cool idea. And here's the door. And I notice I got a little bell here. And there's a little window up there. Take a look at the lamp post. It's also decorated with bows. And we've also got decorations on this side as well with the arched window and the gold windows down here there's another bow take a look at this side here's the chimney here's how you turn on the light brick and I'll show you that here in a second you also get a small pine tree I like the use of profile bricks here inside the chimney you got the dark gray and dark tan and the smokestacks and also use the plates here like they did with the workshop for the roof that adds a lot of character. Here's the lights. Just a simple string up here with uh, clear studs. And the window here. And the only thing I don't like about the window here, you can't see inside the house. This is solid. There's no way to get access to that. I wish there was access in there. This does fold out though. I'll show you inside. That's what it looks like inside the window there. So. Really not much going on. You can see that it's solid. There's no there's no um, access down in here. That's the only bad bummer about that. But it does fit tightly up against the roof. Let's take a look at the inside. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the kitchen here in the entryway. Let's take a look at the cabinetry. I like the cabinets here to the left. And to the right here, we can see in the far corner, you do have a stove. And there's a sink, and you do get the spigot with that too, so you get faucets. You also get a set of drawers and a frying pan. The frying pan's in that little cubby there to the far right. You also get that nice green tiles, adds a nice classic touch. And white and dark blue tile floor. It's a really nice catchy touch to that. Let's move along to the living room. You do get that flow of tiles. It makes a nice rug. I like the detail in here. I like the little miniature tree. Um, it has like a little wand piece on top for the star. Here's the armchair. That chair does come out, but it's hard to take that out of there. Here's the chandelier above the uh, living room. I like that classic design. They just use some clear minifig heads for that. Really great detail. Here's the fireplace, and they got stockings hung above the fireplace there, and the light brick does light up. That's pretty cool. Let's take a look at what it looks like in the dark. So it lights up pretty well on the lower story. Now let's kind of move on up to the second story of the cottage. You got a, a child's room here. You got a, this ball does come with it. Just a simple round ball. Not sure what these are here. 
But I know you get to, you get to make the little toy airplane. I'm not sure if I can get that out of there. But you get to make this. It's a simple toy airplane just out of some plates. It's a pretty clever idea. And you get to make the nightstand, the sailboat. These can all be removed if desired. And you get a little kitty too. A little miniature cat. It's on the rail there. Oh, and I forgot to mention the bed. The beds are also using dark green and dark red tiles. Adds a nice classic touch. Get the window by the bed. Now, taking a look at the roof system, I don't really like the way these plates are in here. It just, I don't know, it just doesn't look finished up enough in here. So I don't know what the intent with that was for. But it is playable. This thing is playable for minifigs. So many hours of enjoyment with this. And that is the whole interior inside the Winter Cottage. And there is the Winter Cottage. I must say this is a really beautifully decorated set. Lots of great detail, lots of accessories. And you do get a few extras, a few extra bricks here. Uh, you even get a brick separator and a few other miscellaneous pieces. But all in all, really great set. Um, as of putting it together, the bagging system, it was numbered. But they had different parts of it, like maybe there was five bag ones. Eight bags of number two and five bags of number three. So there wasn't really like you build like the igloos bag number one and stuff. So please keep that in mind. So you, there will be some piece sorting in order. That's probably my only disadvantage of this set. But hey, I like the detail. I love everything about it. This is a great addition to the winter collection. The winter theme. So this is the Winter Cottage, set number 10229, contains 490 pieces, recommended for ages 12 and up. And it does come with the light brick. And I must say, get this set. This is really a beautiful set. Get a lot of peace for your buck. Thank you for watching.